everything I told them was about work. It's about the work. And I, I've said that from day one, it'll always be the same message. It's about work. That's what we do. Well, you've got to go earn your right every year. And that work started today. Dan Campbell, no exception to that rule. It's a training camp tradition to see the Lions head coach getting in on some up downs. Maybe he needs to work on his form a little bit, but the Lions open day one of camp in Allen Park. Welcome into Sports Overtime. I'm Marley Weirda. It is a big day in the NFL as the Lions unofficially start the season with more excitement than ever before. But the team isn't buying into the hype train. They're just ready to get on the field. We'll get to all that in just a few moments, but stay tuned because in the next 30 minutes, we'll bring you highlights from around the state and the world everywhere from the diamond to the links. More from college football as well as the Big Ten and the Mac. Get ready to go for practice next week, plus an episode of Marley on the Mood to get us in the mood for football season. That's all coming up, but tonight we start, of course, in Allen Park. A lot of Detroit fans are drinking the Kool-Aid after the Lions finished 9-8 and eight last year and are now in the conversation to finish first in the NFC North. We'll go now to News 8's Alec Janikopoulos, who reports from the first day of camp. Like every year before it, the Lions season starts here on the first day of training camp. But unlike all the years before it, this year has plenty of hype surrounding the team. Many national pundits picking the Lions to win the division and make a run throughout the playoffs. That all sounds good, but the team themselves can't be distracted by the noise. They're here to focus and compete in the first day of training camp. I think it's always the thing that's going to worry you is the hype train. I mean, as with most coaches, you know, this thing is just taking off and it's out of control right now. And, and that's fine as long as we stay focused on the job at hand and the work. I just keep going back to that. I'm going to be honest with you. I really don't care because at the end of the day, we still got to go out there and play because the same people that's giving us the, the hype right now was the same people that was down on us last year. That's a message shared on the other side of the ball. Jared Goff also uninterested in hearing any of the hype. The so-called hype train is, is, I don't know, I think it's funny to me that, like, you know, you go 9-8, and eight, you don't make the playoffs, and now you're all of a sudden a favorite. And it's, you know, of course, we got good players, we got good coaches, we got a good team, but we ain't done anything, and uh, we, we have a lot of work to do, and... Um, you know, Minnesota won 13 games last year. You know, Green Bay's won the division a handful of times in the last handful of years. So, you know, we've got we've got some work to do to put, you know, a stamp on who we want to be and um, are nowhere near uh, that yet, but are, are on our way. The message in years before from players has been to prove the media wrong, but it seems like this Lions team is key to prove them right this year. Reporting from Allen Park, I'm Alec Janikopoulos, News 8. All right, Alec, thank you. We're also coming up on Aiden Hutchinson's sophomore season. The former Wolverine and first-round draft pick knows plenty about expectations, having played for the national title contending Wolverines as he heads into year two with a full NFL season under his belt. He's feeling more confident than ever getting his footing in the pros, but says the Lions still play with a chip on their shoulders. I think we're doing a good job of um, keeping our mentality and keeping what we've been doing, um, especially even last year, just and and building off of it. So um, I think we're doing a good job with uh, our mentality and and um, I mean we, we we keep the underdog mentality. You know, it's we haven't won anything yet. So people, um, obviously, there's a lot of expectations, but then again, I think we we still feel like the underdogs. You know. The Lions will play their preseason opener on August 11th at Ford Field before opening the regular season against the Super Bowl champion Chiefs on September 7th on Thursday Night Football. 